good morning it is saturday time for a little maintenance we're going to be using a product called pink power premium aluminum brightener notice i have an aluminum trailer it's kind of dingy see dirty 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 now well, it's got some black soot around it and everything else i want to get this thing cleaned up been about two months since I've cleaned it so we're gonna get ahead and brighten everything up and the first step in doing this is to wet everything down cover up the engines you don't want pink power to get on your uh, plastics it's gonna leave, leave uh, dots and make your stuff look uh, very old then we're done doing the uh, brightener and getting the trailer done we're gonna get ahead and uh, show you how to get these things looking brand new by simply using the product called WD-40. That uh, very much is a wonderful thing. Uh, today I'm mixing a, a quart of Pink Power to three quarts of water. It's a little strong, but it hasn't been done in a while, so it's not going to hurt it to be a little stronger. This is my Zeta P, so cover that up as well. And we'll get this looking newer with some WD-40 when we're done. This is the proportioner system. That'll be all right. Everything is good. Just cover up the engines. Then we'll wet the, uh, the rig down. Then we'll uh, go ahead and apply the pink power by using the Chapman bug sprayer. And when you're done using this product, it's very important to rinse your uh, pump up out because you won't be able to use it again if you don't. It crystallizes in there and it gets harder than a rock like calcium. Uh, calcium buildup, you won't get it out of there. All right, I'm Don from Superblast. See what it looks like now? Let's get after it. All right, as you can see, everything's covered up nice and neat. Those are uh, 55 gallon drum bags. All right, now we're gonna start wetting it down and then we'll start applying the uh, pink power and we'll be right back. Alright, always wear your safety glasses too when you're going to be uh, using this stuff. Look at that. It's just eating it right off of there. Foaming it up. It's looking nice already. Alright. You're going to put some on the wheels there. Excuse me. Everything's looking good. Toolbox looking new. The gas tank looks new again. Let's go on down this side and have a look. Oh yeah, look at the fenders coming good. Looking good. Looking good. So when you pull up at the customer, the customer sees the rig, sees you're professional, you're neat, you're organized. That just says a lot about the quality job they're going to get, you know. If you care about yourself and the way you look, well, that says a lot about how you're going to feel about their job when you're there doing it, all right? All right, let's get after the, the rinse. We're going to let it sit for a little bit, about five more minutes, go up to the house, then come down and rinse it off. We'll be right back. All right, let's have a look. It's been dwelling for 10 minutes. One hand, got a cup of coffee. Went to the Cracker Barrel this morning. They brought this out to the table. So we eat outside in the morning. It's really nice. Try it. Good food, too. Anyway, everything's coming around really good. Now we're going to go ahead and do the satisfying rinse. <laughs> oh, yeah. Looks a lot better. All right. All right, let's get after the rinse. And, uh... Make her look new, folks. Check that out, huh? That looks really good. Nice and shiny and new. It's bright, you know. It's pink power. It's aluminum brightener. Yeah, it's looking real good. Then we'll go over and we'll hit a couple of these little spots here. Uh, this is wearing out. 
some stuff here see if we can get this off of there uh, we can get some more of that off a little bit of more of that we'll just hit a couple of these little areas i want to hit the wheels too real quick it's coming along pretty good back here toolbox looks good again the side's looking good a little bit of black stuff there huh, i need to get after it but that's cool man i like this feature right here uh uh, Aaron down at Ameritech pressure cleaning systems, you know where I get all my stuff He came up with that idea to put that in there and my uh, pump up sprayer on this side and pump up sprayer on this side That's for the wand comes in handy Really cool setup But anyway, you can see that it's coming out a lot better We'll go ahead and put some more on that little black spot there Like I said, we'll touch it up and uh, we'll be back for a final review of the the rig and uh, the way it came out Oh, and I got these new water that water filter blew out this one here this is still good this one but uh here's the new ones right here the blue ones those are the better filters and i have the same ones down here it's important to go ahead and maintain those those are nice and clean I always keep them clean all right i'm don from super blast remember get after it all right let's have a look at the finished product check it out looks like a brand new deal huh I mean, a couple of these stains, you're just not going to be able to get off. Well, maybe you can. I just got to take a rag with some cleaner on there, huh? That's interesting. That's like a grease. All right, we'll be back. I'm going to try something, all right? New tricks. Just about 30 seconds ago, I was looking at that. what spot. I don't see any spots. Do you? What happened to that? All right, I'll show you what happened to it. You see that right there? All right, let's, let's go ahead and... Come on over here for a minute. Uh -huh, you see that right there? Hmm. You see that? You see it? Do you see what's happening there? Holy mackerel. Did you see that? Just look at that. Michael down there at Expedest, just look at that. Would you just look at that? Would you just look at that? Anyway, let's try it over there. What's going on over there? Huh? Oh. Huh. Look at that. Would you just look at that? Pretty slick, huh? I don't know if I should tell you what that is or not. <sighs> Why not? I always swear by this product. It's WD-40, man. Come on. <laughs> get after it. We're going to get after these engines here next, okay? See how dingy that looks? Dirty, grimy. See that? We'll be right back. Let's get after it. Okay, basically what I do is just, I just get after it, you know? Spray some on all this stuff here. It's not going to hurt anything. Just give it a nice coat in that. That's all you got to do. Come on in here and wipe it all down, you know? Yeah, WD-40 is a very good cleaner for machinery, greasy stuff. I use it on my motorcycle wheels. I have chain oilers, so a little bit of the oil gets on the rim, of course. doesn't get on the tire and make it dangerous to ride the motorcycle. It just gets on the rim a little bit. 
and you just uh, put the bike up on the jack and spin the wheel around it's clean in no time but this is just a uh, good way to keep your equipment looking good um, it's out in the sun all the time so it actually protects it from that as well believe it or not plus once again when, when you pull up uh, people are impressed with you and how you keep your equipment I see a lot of you guys you pull into Ameritech or wherever you're at you know I see you wherever shopping centers gas stations not just at Ameritech but some of the equipment you guys are using probably would qualify for a boat anchor you know what I mean anyway to each his own right but look at that it looks pretty much new don't it I'm gonna spray some over here on the pump as well but uh, that looks like a brand new Honda IGX all right we'll be back for the final look of the rig when it's completely finished let's get after it all right let's take a look my goodness Okay, I found a new friend with the combination of pink power and WD-40. I mean, look at this monster. Look like it just came off the shelf, right? Everything is nice and clean, nice. Okay. And uh, this rig was built by GT Builds and the crew at Ameritech Pressure Cleaning Systems in Tampa, Florida. Give them a call. They got it all. Check out this gun cabinet. No one has this. I do. There's all my guns. Which I'm missing a gun. Oh no, it's in there. It's just in the other way. Somebody that was left-handed is trying to fool me. Anyway, look how nice. All those stains that were always on there, they're off. WD. Alright, I'm Don from Super Blast Pressure Washing. And uh, we'll see you on Monday. Let's get after it.